G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to be ranking AFL small forwards. I'm going to be ranking them on this season and this season only. I'm going to be ranking the top 30 AFL small forwards. And Eddie Betts type is out of the top 30, but I've added him in as well. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's crack in. AFL small forwards tier list. Um, I want to kick things off with a Jaden Stevenson. I think Jaden Stevenson has been solid. I don't think he's in and around the All Australian squad, which is what the All Australian, the top one, is for. But he's had a really, really good season, Jaden Stevenson. And uh, yeah, Stevo, solid. Dev Smith, fan favourite, channel favourite, one of the all-time greats of the game. I think he's been below average a little bit, um, probably a little bit harsh to be fair, but obviously he's won a best and fairest at Essendon before. One of the favourites on the channel, and I expect him to bounce back in the next couple of years, especially with the rise of the Young Bombers. Sean Higgins, average, I think, an average year for, for Higo. He's gonna be really important for the Cats in finals, but just a bit of an average year for Higgins standards as well, I think. Alex Neil Bullen, he's debatably been solid. I'm gonna put him in average. That will make the most sense in all the comments mind. Alex Neil Bullen's been super solid for us. He started off his first six or seven weeks was unbelievable. Nibbler, he can go in average, but he's probably played a little bit better than that. Charlie Cameron, I'm gonna put in average as well. We know how good Charlie Cameron can be. Um, he's been good over the last four or five weeks. Along with a lot of the Lions, he's been a little bit inconsistent throughout this season, but he'll be important towards the pointy end of the year. Dylan Moore. Now, I haven't seen this bloke play more than a handful of games, but whenever I do see him play, he's very, very handy. And I see the Hawthorne Twitter sphere rave about him a lot. The future is is bright down at the Hawks, and uh, yeah, Dill Moore goes into solid for mine. Toby Green, all Australian squad, probably. I think Toby Green's been very, very good throughout the year. He's an absolute star. Uh, yeah, Tobes Green, absolute star. Eddie Betts. Probably below average year for Ed. We love the way he goes about it, the big fella. If it was, you know, based on his career, he'd be, you know, well above all Australian. <laughs> He's been one of the best, well, the best small forward ever. But a little bit below average this year, Ed. But even saying that, he's been slotting snags from every which direction for fun. Tom Papley, I'm going to say solid. Now, you can call me out for not being fully across the paps. I don't think he's had one of his best years ever. Just a solid year for, for the Paps. If I'm wrong, let me know. Zach Butters, he's had an average year, but did he make the All-Australian last year? Or oh, he was certainly in the squad. Uh, so he's had better years than this year, I believe. But Zachy Butters is in the average. Gary Rowan, depends what week you watch. If you watch once a month, as some commentators have said before, Gary Rowan is an All-Australian. If you watch other weeks, he can go missing. Uh, I'm going to put Gary Rowan in average. Uh, average is a pass. Average is a pass mark, by the way. So if he did what a Jake Stringer did and turned his year into more consistent, I think we'd be talking a bit of a different story with Gary Rowan. Brent Daniels, I don't actually know how he's gone, to be fair. Uh, he was super last year. He's so lively. Through naivety, I'm going to chuck him in below average. Will Snelling, similar boat. How well has Will Snelling gone? I haven't heard people rave about him as much as I've heard people rave about others. But through not really seeing uh, his season, I'm going to put him in below average. Tell me if I'm wrong. Robbie Gray, bit of a below average year for Robbie Gray as well. Uh, he is a star, but I don't think he's had the year that we all thought he would. Connor Rosie, has Connor Rosie had a bit of a below average year? Once again, I think these two are going to be really important for the power in finals, but Connor Rosie's been a little bit below his best. Sometimes I can sit on the fence a little bit in my tier makers, so I'm trying to, with the best of my knowledge, make some, some cutthroat decisions. Uh, Bailey Fritch, believe it or not, I think's been all Australian squad category. I think Bailey Fritch has been really solid. Uh, for all the small forwards this year, he's leading the Coleman. I think the four people above Bailey Fritch in the Coleman ladder are all key forwards, so he's the, the best small forward uh, this season. And I think he will be in all Australian contention, whether he makes it or not. That's not for me to decide. Kane Lambert, bit of a below average year for mine. And potentially I'm off on that decision. But for mine, Kane Lambert, a little bit off. <laughs> Luke Bruce, we love Luke Bruce. I'm going to say Luke Bruce has been solid. Uh, he's always solid. And he's an absolute clinical finisher. Whenever he's around the goals, he can slot them. So, Lukey Bruce, I'm going to put in solid. Jamie Elliott, I reckon, has been solid. He would have been an absolute bona fide star, barring his, uh, his injuries over his career. Yeah, I think he's been solid, Jamie Elliott. Michael Walters, I don't think it's been his year. Injuries, a little bit out of form. Now, this doesn't look great, having him at the bottom of this list. It sort of hurts my head seeing Michael Walters at the bottom of this list with some of the other players above him. 
but I don't think it's been Michael Walters' year, and that's, you know, not to say that he's bad, but just in terms of his year, I can't recall Michael Walters having his best year. Um, so I'm going to say he's been a bit unlucky, and he'll bounce back, though. He's an absolute star, Michael Walters. Joshy Thomas, below average. I really rate Josh Thomas. I see he gets a little bit of hate from the Collingwood fans, a little bit of a whipping boy at times, but I like Joshy Thomas, but probably a little bit below average. Cosy Pickett, I reckon, has been solid. His first eight weeks was explosive, Cosy Pickett. He's a young, up and coming small forward finding his feet in the game. Um, I think he's had a really, really solid year, Cosy Pickett, and I think he'll be in the All Australian under 22. Dan Butler. Um, I think I'm going to put Dan Butler in average, which is a pass mark. We know how good Dan Butler can be. His year last year was ridiculous. I think he's been a little bit below what he was last year, but he's been average, which is a pass. Isaac Heaney, I reckon, has been solid. He's, he's very exciting, Isaac Heaney. A bloke that can play like a midfielder, play like a tall forward, play like a small forward, sign me up. I'll be watching them every day of the week. I reckon he's had a solid year. Lincoln McCarthy. I don't know whether he's been solid or average. I, I haven't watched enough of his game. I'm going to put him in average, which is a pass mark. What a resurgence in his career. Couldn't get a game at the Cats. Was a little bit injury prone. Goes up to the Lions and becomes a really solid small forward. So I do love Link, but I'm going to put him in average. Liam Ryan. I don't know where to put Liam Ryan. I think Liam Ryan's been solid. Um... Liam Ryan, I reckon, has been slightly below average this season. We know how good Liam Ryan can be. Yeah, I think Liam Ryan's slightly below average this season, but there's no doubt he can get back to his best soon. Stephen Motlop, I'm going to put in average, which is a pass. Uh, we know how important he is for that Port Adelaide footy club. Jamie Cripps. I think Jamie Cripps has been average, which is a pass. Like, I think Jamie Cripps has been sort of exceeded Jamie Cripps' expectations, I think. Uh... He's had some good games, kicked five in a game. He bobs up here and there. I think Jamie Cripps has been pretty handy this season. Jason Johannesson, playing a bit of a small forward role. I'm gonna put him below average. I'm just not sure he's been as damaging a small forward as he has been a half backer before in the past. So, a bit of a tough one for Jason Johannesson, whether he's a little bit lost <laughs> in where his best position is. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, Jason Johannesson I've put in below average, and Tipper I've put in solid. We love the Tipper. We love the way he goes about it. That Bombers young list is looking very lethal in the future. And yeah, I think Anthony McDonald, Tipper Woody has been solid this season. All right, guys, that is it for another video. My tier list, I think arguably I could probably put Papley and potentially Bruce up in the All-Australian potentials, but I don't think I will. I think I'll have just Toby Green and Fritter. Uh, we'll see how that pans out, though. And, yeah, I'm pretty content with the rest of my list as well. Obviously, Michael Walters is going to bounce back and have a ripping season. I'm not writing him off. And I think if you're sitting there out of this list, you're actually going okay. So we're just splitting hairs of the best forwards, to be honest. All right, guys, that's it for another video. I appreciate the support. I appreciate everyone watching. And I'll see you all very soon for some more content. Cheers.